Welcome back to the JVZoo tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to look at your account. So let's go to My Account. Here's what you'll find. You have a name, whether or not you're approved as a premium affiliate, which means that you get automatically approved for a number of different products without having to go through the wait for an approval. This is your login email, and you can change your password here. This is your linked PayPal email right here. This is your mailing address, which you can click here to edit. Your phone number. When I joined, a phone number was not required, but you will see a phone number here, and they do phone verification. And how many affiliates you've referred to use JVZoo. You can edit any of these by clicking the Edit button in the upper right. Affiliate information. This is your affiliate ID. This is also basically your account number. If you want to refer other people into the JVZoo system, you will get a certain percentage of their sales that they generate, and this is the link that you would give them. As you can see, I have generated zero and referred affiliate earnings. It's not something I concentrate on. Your JVZ IPN secret key is extremely important. If you do not see anything right here, you want to click this link, click here to edit JVZ IPN secret key. You can either put your own in or you can accept whatever they've generated. Most software out there, members software and product delivery software, will use this secret key to tie it together with your JVZoo account. So you want to have something there. It's a security blanket, so to say. It allows the two apps, JVZoo and whatever you're using, to shake hands and exchange information without that information being compromised. Sale notifications is whether or not you want to get notified by email when you receive a sale when one of your products sells. Premium affiliates. Remember up here I said I was a premium affiliate. If you want premium affiliates to promote your products, you can have them turned on here. If you click Edit, you can turn that off. Allow reviews. JVZoo has product reviews capability from buyers of all of your products. You can yes or no turn that off. And also you can have JVZoo's cart abandonment program turned on or off. What this does is remind people via email if they put your product in their shopping cart but do not buy. Then they will get an email shortly after reminding them of the product and giving them another push to come and buy it. Below that, finally, we have tax information. I'm in the US, so I have a W-9. I can download that here. I do not uh, have European VAT. I don't track that or collect it. I am in the United States, and I do not collect sales tax. So that is your account information and use the blue edit buttons to change any of those. Under my account are other applications. For example, Launch Suite, that is a JV uh, can't launch calendar that is tied in with JVZoo. We have an API key for that application, whether or not it's active, and how to edit or delete it here. Um, this will be growing with time as more applications use the JVZoo API. Payment Profiles. This is where you will find your PayPal account, which you can change or disable. As well, if we scroll down the page, we can see Stripe, AuthorizeNet, and your mailing address in case an affiliate or actually a vendor has to pay you by check. The blue Configure Now buttons are what you use to change those. Invoices is where we can have billing. These are rarely used. In fact, to be honest with you, I have never used this. So I really doubt that you will ever see anything here. Customer filtering. This is where you can blacklist customers or even redirect URLs. They have a very important segment here, and that is the peer network blacklist. What this does is work together with all other vendors' personal email blacklists. You can see here, if I were to click this button, it would bring up a list 
of all of the emails, buyer emails, that I have blacklisted. They will not be able to buy any of my products. Either they are serial refunders or have disputed or been just disagreeable customers that have not made me want to work with them anymore. I have added them to my email blacklist. I have a lot of emails on here. A lot of that is also because I work as a launch manager for other vendors. So I combine blacklists when vendors want me to. So this gives more power to blocking these poor customers. What the peer network does right here is allows you to crowdsource your black blacklist and you can pick the number of JVZoo vendors that also ban the same email. So you can see here, I, I've selected, uh, if, an, if a buyer is blacklisted by two or more vendors, I don't want them to buy my items. Look at the difference. I have 722 emails on my own list. By doing this, I have 4,398 people who are blocked. These are people who maybe are buying from me the first time, so I don't know about them, but other JVZoo vendors have had problems with them. I do not want their business. This protects your PayPal account above all because you want your refund percentage to be as low as possible. You want as few PayPal disputes as possible. That's what a lot of these people generate is refund requests. They buy a lot of items and then immediately refund so they can get freebies or for whatever reason, or they, rather than asking for a refund, go straight to a dispute. Those are not customers you want. You also have country blacklisting down here. You can add certain countries to prevent people from those countries from, from ordering. And then the JVZoo Global Blacklist. This is, uh, there are no configuration buttons. This is just for your information. 9,740 people have been globally banned by JVZoo. Now, I shouldn't say people, I should say emails, because someone could obviously have more than one email on this list. But these emails are not allowed to buy from anyone in the system. So this is a fantastic way, more than anything, to protect your PayPal account. And your PayPal account is gold. It must be protected. The next thing we find are the Ad Manager plugin and the Ad Widget Creator. These are used on your own websites to promote different JVZoo products. We're not going to spend time on those. The Message Center is where people can contact you within JVZoo. And it's not a spam center. They do have a certain maximum number of people you can contact and send messages to each day to protect that from spamming. Your public profile is where you can put information that buyers and other affiliates and vendors can see about you. This is where you can get W9s for your affiliates that you need to send these out for at tax time. Here are the sub-users that I uh, mentioned in the first video that is connected with this logged in as yourself link. If you are working with another vendor on their account, they can add you as a sub-user, and then you can access portions of their account without having to actually log in to their JVZoo account and have full access. Um, this is what you would set up here in sub-users. For example, if you have a virtual assistant, a VA, you can put their JVZoo login email address here, add them as a new sub-user, and give them access to whatever information you need. Like if it's just managing products, you can click this box for them, and they will only be able to access these three portions of your account. Very good for uh, virtual assistants and even uh, employees. Finally, autoresponders. This is where you can connect your GetResponse account and add lists to your GetResponse account or your SendReach account. From within these, as well as your Aweber account, you can do all the different management uh, setups that you need, adding lists for products, etc. So that is the My Accounts segment.